Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tara Stoddard and I, oops, <laughs> something fell. I am an independent, oh my gosh, Color Street stylist. Oh my goodness. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, if you are new here, I already told you my name, <laughs> but be sure to subscribe to this channel because obviously I'm, <laughs> I'm a mess, but I come back here every Tuesday. We do our nails together. Oh my gosh. And I have fun here. We have fun here, don't we? <laughs> my goodness. Okay. So hold on one second. Let me get a little, I have my, I got my iced coffee here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, what was I doing? Today, this week, in my Facebook group, which are, if you're not in there, be sure to join us. I have a link in the description. We're doing weekly themes. And this week's theme is Merry and Bright. Now we do have a color street set called Merry and Bright. Um, right? I think it's called Merry and Bright. I don't know. But today I am planning on doing happy holidays happy holidays and i have this is a mixed manny so i have home sweet home i don't know if you guys can see oh it's upside down home home sleet home which is a retired shade um uh, right no longer with us i swear i need to like refer to this all the time because i'm like are am i sure yes yes i am sure it is retired um, but before I get started, did you guys get this? Did you guys get the cuticle balm? I freaking love it. I wish it was a little bit bigger because I'm like, how much product does it actually hold? Um, I won't put it on now because my nails are ready to go for this. Um, but how cute, like I, I've said before, I never put this on, I never do our cuticle oil because it's inconvenient for me. I don't want to carry this around in my purse. However, I can totally just slip this into my purse, carry it with me. I love it because I've told you, I've told you before, my favorite brand is Bliss Kiss. I'm sorry, Color Street, but my favorite brand is Bliss Kiss, which is um, this oil pen. I need to, what I need to do. You know what? It's not even the formula that I love. I know you're like, just get to the dang manicure. I will, I promise. But they sell like these, the oil pens. I should totally get a little funnel and like funnel it in because it's not even the formula that I love. It's the, it's the convenience of having the brush. Oh, I'm just brushing on. Anyway. Um, yeah. So this was like free with a purchase a couple, like last week sometimes. And then it was also in one of the daily bundles, um, which I have, what time is it? Yeah, the day, the today's daily bundle just came out. I haven't seen it yet, but it was in like the thirty dollar bundle. What thirty bucks? And you got this plus I think four sets. Um, I did not buy it, but I I did get it with the free purchase. Anyway, but oh my gosh, I'm throwing things around. I really I I have my coffee right here. Please do not. I, I talk with my hands. If you haven't noticed, I talk with my hands. I'm very animated um, when I'm when I'm talking. I I really probably should move my coffee. I think it'll be fine though. Just oh my goodness. Okay, I'm putting those aside because my nails are already prepped. Anyway, anyway, oh my goodness. This is a French manicure. I know some people are so hesitant to try the French tips and I wish, like, not that I wish, but I should um, do more French because they turn out so cute. I love them. Okay, here's what you do. You do these, this part first, this part's first, and then you do the clear overlays on top of it um, because then you don't have, like, it protects... It protects the, the French top part of it. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. Let's see, it's been a while since I've done a French, but these are super easy because they're already pre-cut. And all you do is you just stick it on, just, just like that. 
it doesn't have to be perfect because what do I always tell you? Nobody is going to notice. Like nobody knows except for you if it's crooked. Um, I promise that from from like just glancing at somebody's nails, they're not going to notice that, you know, it's tilted funny. I promise you, nobody's noticing. Um, so just stick it on and go. I'm mine is mine are never perfect. And oh my gosh, I know I'm, ah, see, I, I did that crooked. I did it crooked. <laughs> There's like a huge gap right there. Oh, but it's okay. It's fine. It is fine. So this is perfect timing because and I have it sticking over the side right here because I put it on so crooked. Um, it's good timing because, because, because tonight is my husband's, like there's like a work party thing, it's a work party thing for his, like his boss is taking us out to dinner. Um, and I want my nails nice and freshly done. I've never met his boss or his boss's wife before. This will be the first time. Um, and they're actually our landlord. <laughs> like we got a new owner of the cemetery. Um, did I mention I was, I didn't even say what I was doing, but I'm, I'm like, my, my brain is going a mile a minute. Um, home sleep home. I'm using it for the accent. We're just going to put it underneath and then we're going to put this on top of it. So you'll see, you'll see. Okay. Um, Anyway, so back in October, um, our cemetery sold. Like, we didn't even know it was for sale. Like, the owner did not tell us. the He was our landlord and everything because we live in a house that's on the cemetery property. Like, I look out my window, my office window right here, and, you know, like, can I use I, – I don't want to. I don't want to. Um Anyway, our landlord did not tell us that he was selling the place and didn't tell us until it was almost finalized. We had some, there was like rumors going around and we were freaking out because we're like, oh my gosh, are they going to make us move? Like, I love my house. I love my house. My husband works the cemetery. Um, so we are very, we are very tied to this cemetery. We live here. My husband works here. Um, I love it. It was our first home when we first moved to Missouri from California. Um, and yeah, so I, I was very nervous, but so far so good. Like the new owner seems amazing. Um, like he gave my husband a raise. He like my husband got paid vacation. Remember when we, when we went on vacation he gave my husband paid vacation, which he didn't have. My husband didn't have that before. Um, you know, we were just, he was just taking the time off, which I, th I thought was nice that he was able to, you know, take two weeks off, um, even if we weren't getting paid for it. But the new owner who like came on right, like that week that we were leaving said, hey, I'm going to pay you for this time off. So how nice was that? Um, so... It, it feels like a good thing and it feels like, you know, that they really value my husband and want us to stay here. So, that one's a little bit small for this nail. That's okay. Um, anyway, so we're, I'm meeting them for the first time today and they might actually be our neighbors. Um, our old landlord lives in a house that's on the same property, like just kind of down the hill from us, like just on the other side of us. Um, and I think this is his last month here, although he's never home. Um, and then I think, I think they might be moving in you guys. I think they might be. I was like, did I, did I put home sweet home on? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, so we're going to this little delicious Italian restaurant. It's one of my favorites. Um, my husband and I actually went there like a week and a half ago. Um, and now we get to go again. It's one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, it is so good. The food there is amazing. What am I doing? This. 
Okay, I think we're gonna do, this nail's smaller, so we're gonna save these ones and we're gonna put this one on. I don't think I'm gonna do, I think we're just gonna leave it as like just, just an accent nail. Okay. Um, anyway, so yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm a little nervous because I don't, like, the only people I'm going to know there, um, actually, I guess I'll know, I'll know quite a bit. Um, I know my husband's coworker. He only has one coworker. Um, and I kind of know his wife. Oh my gosh, his wife is such a sweetheart. Um, my husband's coworker's wife is such a sweetheart. You guys, so my sister gave birth a week ago from last Sunday, like two Sundays ago. Um, and my husband's coworker's wife doesn't even know us, like has no ties really to my sister whatsoever, but she got my sister, like she put together this gorgeous little, this little, um, gift basket with like diapers and some bath stuff and I think like a I don't know all what was in it but you know things that you need with a new baby oh my gosh did I tell you her name I don't think I did because my sister didn't announce it yet she's announced it now it's Facebook official <laughs> um but my new niece's name is Eleanor Sage Eleanor Sage. How cute is that? I haven't met her yet. Um, cause I did go over, I brought my sister some food last week. Um, but it was like two days after she had given birth. And of course my sister's like resting and she's exhausted. And I told her, I said, Hey, so I want to bring over some, some stuff for you guys. She's like, I'm really not up for visitors. I was like, no, 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 no. It's fine. Send your girls out, your older girls, my nieces. Um, I said, send them out and just have them grab the stuff. It's just some, I, I went and got some, um, a bunch of stuff from Costco. Like they're two pack of lasagna, like the frozen lasagna, some frozen pizzas, um, some lemonade. What else did I get? Like just some, some like quick eat. Like there was like an Irish stew. Um, quick things that you just like toss in the oven or the microwave and you're done. Um, let me see, which one fits my thumb the best? This one, probably this one, if I can get it straight. Um, so I, ha I didn't get, I haven't met my niece yet. They live really close too. I'll meet her. I'll meet her. My sister has been sending me pictures. Um, she looks just like her other girls. Oh my goodness. My sister has five girls. She has, we both have five kids, which I think is <laughs> amazing. Like who, who knew that me and my sister would have five kids? Not me, not me at all. Not me. Um, I remember when my sister had her first baby. I know I'm like chatting your guys' ear off right now. But when she had her first baby, she said, that that was going to be the only baby that she had. She wanted only one child and she was going to be an only child. Um, and then somewhere along the way, she changed her mind. Um, so, you know, it's funny. Although I said that I wanted four and I ended up with five. So, you know, plans. There's a quote somewhat, some, I don't know. I don't know the quote. There's a quote. Okay, now we're moving on. How are we doing on time? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I know I'm so, I'm so chattery today. I don't, let me get a drink. I need a drink of my, my coffee. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oops. So how cute. Can you see that? How cute are these? It has like just, it's a clear, clear right here. Let me take this off. And then it has like the tiniest, cutest little, little design in the corner. That'll be at the bottom of your nail. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Nope, that's wrong. All right here. Oh my gosh. So stinking cute. I love it. 
I absolutely love this. Is this the first time that Color Street has come out with a, is it? With like, with color on the clear overlay? When have they done it before? Have they done it? Have they done it before? Or has it always been? Why did I not notice that? Like until just now it hit me. And the there's a blue one too with a snowflake. Oh my gosh. It's starting. My dreams are coming true with color overlays. I hope that means that we're going to see some standalone ones. Like not with French. Right? I think this is the first time. Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, a thought just popped into my head. We're switching subjects again. I mean, it's still Color Street. But I know that there were some complaints about the subscription box. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I just, I want this over just a little bit more. Um, about the subscription box and how they put in um, the Made in, Man Made in Manhattan. The black one. Um... You know, it's not an exclusive shade. They hear us. They hear us. They explained on the leader call yesterday that there was um, a different set planned. Ugh, this is not. I I wish it was at the bottom right here because that's the set that I use. Um, anyway, they said that the set that was planned for the box didn't work out. They didn't explain what happened. Um, so I guess they had to, like, improvise with made in manhattan am i saying i feel like that name is not right is it right i know it's manhattan oh my gosh anyway um so they promised that for january's box it is going to be exclusive shades um you know we've never seen them before and um with a fun gift so there you have it. Although I really liked the gifts that were in December's box. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I won't tell you because I know some people are still waiting on their boxes, which, oh my gosh, you guys, it's, you are not alone. I like my mail has been delayed and delayed and delayed, like not just color street, but like everything. My mom said that when she sent in uh, I think she was paying, like doing, sending her rent check, which goes like 10 miles. Um, she said it took eight days for that to, to get to her landlord. Um, mail is bananas right now. So I do not believe that it's going to be like this for January. So I, I just want to say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that, um, okay, I'm going to do this one. If you're still waiting on it, I hope it arrives soon. Um, gosh, it's just with the mail. Ah, it was kind of a like a horrible month to start the subscription boxes. I mean, I I understand the timeline. We it you know the way it happened, um, but yeah. Hopefully next month is better. Um, also, if you're a leader in Color Street, keep an eye out if you haven't received it yet. Don't, don't, no spoilers, um, but keep an eye out because there is, there's something coming. Um, I totally saw a spoiler and I, I hate that. I hate like seeing spoilers when I didn't want to see it. So I'm not going to show you, um, but there is something so watch for it and I know mail can be bananas right now like we were just talking about so um yeah just know that you have something coming anyway it was a nice little a nice little thing that they sent I the last couple years they sent well the first what was the first gift I think it was an ornament I really wish that they would send more like some kind of little ornament or not necessarily an ornament because I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, but some kind of like, I don't know, something. I really enjoyed the ornament though, because that could be like set up. I actually have it on display in my office. Um, and then I think 
was it last year the year before they sent jewelry there was like a bracelet that said color street okay i need to get off this excess because it's a little too much on the side right here okay Yesterday I posted a picture, a little illustration that I did, um, and it had it had a cuticle oil. Some people thought it was liquid polish, and I made it have like a little like a mad face. <laughs> Some people thought it was liquid polish, and like they were staring at the the little doodle of the the Color Street set. And I said, "No, it's cuticle oil." Um, and then I said, "I don't know why he's mad though." <laughs> like who I don't know why I dream that way it just did I felt like it was right um somebody said it's because we don't use cuticle oil enough and he's mad about it <laughs> so I thought that was funny um I posted that in my Facebook group if you're if you're in there um because I've been trying a lot lately it's just been really fun okay I think I normally use this size for my thumb but since it's clear and it doesn't matter if I get all the way to the corners because I have very square thumbs um, it doesn't really matter because you're not you're not gonna notice I just want the design on there and I don't like having to take off the excess <laughs> okay oh my gosh these are so cute this one Oh my goodness, this was a good choice. Those are, oh my gosh, it's adorable. I'm gonna be staring at my nails all day, all week. These are so cute. I might have to break down and take these off midweek. I mean, I guess it is kind of midweek. Um, maybe this weekend when we get snow because I really want to wear the I want to wear the blue one too with the little snowflake oh my goodness if you are in the um there's a snowstorm coming if you are in the way of the snowstorm I hope you stay warm and safe oh my goodness I hope oh, there's like this crazy like polar vortex coming again um we lived through one like, I am a California girl. I am not built for this. <laughs> but we had one, was it a year, two years ago? Um, and it was, like, so cold you could not be outside for long periods of time. It got down to, like, negative 25, which I have never been in that kind of weather. But we're going to get, like, oh, yeah, negative, 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 negative degrees. I don't even know. Um, so stay, stay warm, stay safe. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate happy Hanukkah, if you celebrate, um, all the things happy holidays. I feel like that just covers, that just covers all of them. <laughs> and here is my merry and bright manicure. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your week and I will talk to you not in the Facebook group on Monday cause I'm taking that day off, but I will see you next Tuesday when we're going to do the subscription box manicure theme, the Roaring Twenties. So bye friends.